Hey guys, Andrew with Andrew Lewis. Brand new video for you guys. And this is a question I got from a subscriber day. And it's about how to build strength while cutting. Um, or how can they, you know, maintain, at least maintain the strength that they're at while losing weight? You know, just to put it in a different, uh, in a different word, right? So, it's possible, it's very possible to gain strength while cutting. Is it easy? No way, right? If people could, right, walk around with a six pack and still be able to lift, right, that 500 pound deadlift as easy, uh, hey, I mean, we have everything we want in the fitness world. Um, but there's three main tips I'll go over as far as being able to uh, keep your strength coming while you're cutting. So the number one tip I'll say is don't do unnecessary uh, cardio because cardio is going to kill your gains if you're already not getting enough calories to sustain your level, right? So this is your level. If you're eating 2,500 calories a day, that's what you you know what you're looking at needing for whatever your weight goal is um if you're burning off excess 300 while walking on treadmill you're already eating into your calories that you're eating right that you're needing um to also keep your strength up so it's good you're losing weight but you're gonna be losing strength that way so best thing is to do is uh you know keep counting calories and then just do the right amount of cardio that you need while performing your, your normal lifts. Okay. And tip number two I got is you definitely, definitely want to lower the volume. Lower the volume, guys. Because I know that when I'm lifting and if I'm hitting chest three times a week, it's not going to be near as optimal. I'm not going to be getting the results as I would be. I was lifting chest, let's say, once or twice a week. So whatever you're normally doing, bump that down by at least one less, um, you know, one less amount that you can measure in the gym. And, uh, you know, it could be, it could be three sets per your one workout that week. It could be, you know, that extra day, whatever it is, try to measure that down to where you're still seeing success coming through. Okay. So that's the tip number two I got. Um, the last tip I'll say number three is master master your lift. You know you gotta know your lift. If you're not um, del you know if you're not, let's say squat. I already talked about deadlifts. Uh, Five hundred. Uh, if you're squatting, if you're squatting, you wanna, you know, obviously start shoulder width apart, right? Your toe is comfortable for you in a power lift stance, right? With your toes comfortably at balance. You know, your head up, you're coming down, you're gonna explode, <clears throat> you know, through your hips and through your through the ground, right? Um, so master your lift every way you can. Don't cheat the lift because come the time that, you know, you're doing the lift, and then you're actually working out with somebody that knows what they're doing. They're going to pretty much, you know, figure you out. Say, bro, you're doing a quarter squat. What are you doing? Like, do the entire lift, guys. And, yeah, you're going to, um, you're going to see results. Oh, just a mini tip. Um, it's an obvious one, but if you're going to get stronger, don't, don't ever decrease your rate unless you've got to, so... Keep the weight going. See where you're at. See if you can go up another 5-10%. You know, uh, take your gains by the day. You're not going to shoot like a rocket because you don't have that same energy level you do if you're bulking or maintaining calories. So that's pretty much it for me, guys. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button below if you like this content. And I will see you guys soon. New videos every Tuesday and Thursday.